Hello friends, this is size 12 light wire hook, grub hook, sorry, thread is olive and I'm going to start below the eye and explain all the material as I go along. So thread you're using olive number 8. Now for the post I'm using, this is a glow bright number 11. This is a yellowish fluorescent yellow color. You can use charters, you can use a white. I like this color in, in the post because it's very nice and bright, you know. And this is like a clink hammer I'm trying. And I've tried this and it works really well. So if you fold them, sorry, I should explain. Now, number 11 glow bright and you take foot and half long or if you want thinner post and fold it few times and then so we can have a thick post. And this is because it's a size 12 hook, so I'm using thicker one now. See, pull them up together. If you put it on top of the hook, and then hold both and and kind of bring them together by going around. Just create a nice thick post so we can have huckle there trying to get this thicker just to lose turn so once this is done come back up and for the huckle I'm using this is a grizzly hen uh, sorry cock huckle as you can see it's called yellowish color and olivish color but you can use a natural color if you want so I just catch this here first and then go tie this up with the post and then come back down and then lock this side the reason I'm locking this side because I need a nice kind of body shape so go all the way down towards the bend and I'm gonna cut this off Look a bit messy, but don't worry, the finish will be perfect, hopefully. My eyesight are not as good as before, but I'll try to make this nice. Now, strip quill again. This is a dyed olive peacock curl, so if you can strip it and then catch this end here and come back up. This is basically a summer pattern and it's good. Clink hammers are well known fly so you can use in any condition. Okay, just bring your huckle plier and catch this end with the huckle plier. Take your time now. You can kind of uh, leave the cup and use touching turn. It's entirely up to you. Clean hammers are not easy fly to tie, you know. This is, I haven't tied this for a while, so I had some in my boxes. So I was fishing with them. Keep coming up nice and steady. Take your time all the way. And just secure this here, couple turn, and then take this off. Okay, this is scared, so I'm going to take this off. Okay. Come back. Now, I'm going to add some for the thorax. You can use dubbing, but I'm using, uh, again, the peacock. I'm using two feathers because uh, 
likes to have a nice thorax. So if you cut this end, top end, and cut them here. And just remember to turn or even three in the back and go forward. And about three turn. And secure this. Three turn. Cut this off. Pull everything back. Don't worry, I'm gonna use different threads. So couple of turn finish this off so we get rid of this thread and I'm gonna use a black thread right that's okay that's not bad right next thread would be black thread so because I'm using black thread so I'm gonna go just if you turn to get this post base a little bit stronger so we don't have any problem with the you know wrapping this around now as usual put this so facing upward so it's easier that way because then you can Huckle it easily, okay. Now that's essential part actually, because this is where all the things goes a bit, you know, kind of messy. So first turn, always make sure you do it very nice, and then you keep coming down. You don't need more than five or six because too much hako kind of spoil the fly so if you get the hako sorry your bobbin thread and avoid catching try to avoid you can't avoid it but catch less hako in the with the thread so she if you do three turn you can cut this off it's not going anywhere it's locked okay now I'm going to add a varnish on the thread but make sure you don't put blob of varnish just a tiny bit because it works on fine just about a little bit thin varnish I want to look this you know clink hammer, hammer nice you know so I'm trying to go just take my taking my time so I don't catch anything because it's called varnish. Two, three turn. I mean, two turn is enough. And now, if you try to just bring them up a little bit, so we can kind of whip finish. With the whip finish, very easy. Not easy, but it's simple. Making it simple. So if you get whip finish tool. And if I go one turn here, make sure you go one turn and lock it. Now, don't do two or three turn together because then you're gonna mess the huckle. So another turn, take your time again here. Try to avoid all the huckles. I've been told to do this nicely in step by step. So this is why I'm taking my time. Let's go another turn. Now I am finishing this fly here because of, if I'm tying for myself, I don't need to like turn after turn because the main essential thing is in this fly is your varnish. Once the varnish is dry, that means that it's uh, locked properly. And um, maybe it's got a little bit messy. So remember, I didn't varnish or body or anything because you can do that when you try and fly. 
because I'm just trying to save time to show you. So I'm just going to take my time and take some some of this peacock curl. Not really essential. I sometimes cut this peacock curl from underneath if it's too long because what we need is a hackle. So and just let me put this nicely. And next thing you do, give a twist and try to so stroke your huckle downward, you know. It doesn't have to be 100% to be honest with you. This will float very nice on the water. And I say the size you want for the post. I leave it a little bit longer so I can see this on top of the water. And I cut, the, cut this side, you know, across like this. So, because I'm using this very neon thread, it, it, you can completely see this in the water, even if it's a choppy water. Don't worry about the, you know, long and short fiber. All you need to do is make sure that you can see your fly in choppy water and the fish takes it. That's fine. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I took a bit of time. And remember, first thing, varnish your body if you want. I don't wash varnish anything when I'm fishing. If it goes a couple of fish, okay, put it back, clean the hook, make another one. But varnish if you want to varnish. And whip finish, varnish, no problem. Um, you can use a natural color of the grizzly. You can use white post. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.